Hi kids, welcome back to Fun Learning. So are you ready for today's Olympiad preparation? Today we are going to do the Science Olympiad for Grade 1 and Grade 2 concentrating on the Science section. In this section there are various topics but what we'll focus on are three topics. That is living non-living things, plants and human body. And kids, while we go through these, we'll also revise the concept. Let's go to our first concept that is about living things. Living things are those that can breathe, can move on its own, can grow or change, can reproduce that is give birth to young ones and can eat and drink. And living things need food to eat, air to breathe, water to drink and sunlight to grow and thrive. So these are essential for the living things to have a life. And all the things that don't have these characteristics or don't have these needs are non-living things. Let's look at the distinction of living and non-living things. Living things are categorized broadly into people, animals and plants. Whereas non-living things are broadly categorized in natural, which is sun, clouds, river or even rock and man-made things from book to pen to tower to ship to car etc. So keeping this in mind, let's proceed with our question answer session. Our first question for the day is, look at the picture below and answer which statement is correct. Statement 1, there are four living things in the picture. Statement 2, there are three non-living things in the picture and statement 3 there are same number of living and non-living things in this picture. The answer options are A. 1 only B. Statement 2 only C. 3 only and D is 1 and 3 only. Take a look and try to answer. Let's see if your answer matches. Tree Tree is a plant. Remember the tip? Plants, trees are living things. Fish, fish is an animal and it does need to breathe and it moves on its own. And fish is a living thing. Book, well it's man-made and it's a non-living thing. Clouds and sun, these are natural things and these are non-living things. Chair is a man-made thing which is non-living aeroplane. This can move from one place to another. But can it move on its own? No, it's through a machine. And also it is man-made, so it's a non-living thing. Bird falls under the animal category, is a living thing. Lizard falls under animal category and is a living thing. So now we know what the picture is all about. Let's revisit the statements. There are four living things in the picture, says statement 1. Let's validate 1, 2, 3, 4. Statement 1 is correct. Statement 2 is, there are three non-living things in the picture. We've marked the non-living thing with this blue circle and a cross inside. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4. So then statement 2 is not correct. Statement 3. There are same number of living and non-living things in this picture. Let's look. So our circled living things are tree, fish, bird, lizard. Four of them. And our crossed out non-living things are clouds, book, aeroplane and chair. Four of them again. So they are equal in number. Hence, statement 3 is also correct. So our correct option is option D, which is 1 and 3 only. Let's look at the next question. Which of the following statements suggest that a battery operated car is not a living thing? 1. It takes up space. 2. It is hard and shiny. 3. It does not reproduce. 4. It does not breathe. The options are A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 2 and 4 only or D, 3 and 4 only. Why don't you try? Remember the characteristics of living things. 
well let's check your answer so let's bring about the characteristics of living things it can breathe can move can grow can reproduce and can eat or drink now let's look at these if they match up the characteristics that suggest battery operated car is not a living thing it takes up space where there's nothing to do about space statement to it is hard and shiny well this is more about the car so no it does not tell us that three it does not reproduce now reproduction is one of the main characteristics of living thing so yes it is an indicator in statement four it does not breathe breathing is one of the main functions that living things do so statement 3 and 4 tell us clearly that battery operated car is not a living thing so our answer here is option d a similar question of this type is coming up now i let's see if you can answer this it shows a plant and says it is a living thing because a it grows b it can make more plants c it breathes or d all of these yes your answer is right it is d all of these because it does grow as a living thing from seed to plant it can make more money plants so that means it can reproduce which is also a function of living thing it breathes again a feature of living thing hence the answer is all of these time for revision of our second concept that is types of plants plants are categorized into small plants and big plants now big plants are trees which are big and tall with strong and thick stem and our small plants have four subcategories for our this section that is the herb shrub climber and creeper a herb is a medicinal plant smaller than shrubs used for cooking and used for flavors and scents a shrub is smaller than trees short stem and lower height and grows in bushes a climber is the one which is has a soft and weak stem and grow with the support of a external thing to reach sunlight creeper is are the ones that creep on ground or wall and spread over a large distance and the picture here shows that the herb is smaller than a shrub which is smaller than a tree and the tree is the biggest and strongest of them all remember this tip as this will be useful for you to answer the questions now before heading to the questions let's look at the examples of these different types of plants starting with trees which are big and tall and strong with thick stem now these are some of the tree types that i have brought to you coconut tree banyan pine tree oak tree mango and apple tree and many more next one are herbs herbs are medicinal plants and they are shorter than shrubs used for cooking and for flavoring and scents peppermint coriander basil rosemary grass mint wheat are some of the examples of herbs shrubs are smaller than trees remember the picture these have shorter stems and lower height and grow in bushes but these are bigger than herbs these are some of the examples here the jasmine plant the hibiscus or the shoe flower plant the rose plant the sunflower plant then comes the climbers they are the ones which have the soft and weak stem and grow with support to reach sunlight these are some of the pictures here that give the examples of climbers the grapevine peas the money plant all need a support to grow vine creepers also cucumber is one of them then are creepers creepers creep on ground or wall and spread over a large distance pumpkin watermelon are some of the examples of creepers there are also wall creepers that are used for decoration in houses so these were the examples and i'm sure this will help you in answering lot of the questions ahead 
let's start tick on the option showing the correct match between row 1 and row 2 row 1 gives the types of the trees and row 2 gives some of the examples so let's see if you can match and then match it with one of these options here to give your correct answer take your time and solve this did you get your answer let's see if it matches row 1 tree one tree is our option matches with the block d which is mango shrub shrub remember smaller than tree but still has a strong stem but only it is sunflower sunflower is a shrub herb it's a medicinal or a food leaf that we use in flavoring or cooking cilantro is a herb because shorter than shrub and at the same time is used for food value four is climber climbers are one which need support and that would be a the grape vine fifth is creeper which creep on the ground or on the wall in this case it's the pumpkin which is option b so let's see if this match is present in the options below a option a is 1 d yes 2 a no 2 is c so not a option b is 1 a 2 e again no 1 is only wrong because tree is mango not any other option c is 1 b again wrong let's look at d d is 1 d okay that's right tree mango tree 2 c shrub as a sunflower 3 e herb that is cilantro 4a that is climber which is a grape vine 5b which is pumpkin so d is a correct answer next question ramya planted plant x in her garden she tied the stem of this plant to a pole placed beside it in the soil to help it grow which of the following could be plant x hmm option a is china rose plant B is money plant, C is coriander plant, and D is sunflower plant. So here it says she tied the stem of this plant to a pole so that it can help it to grow. That means the plant needs support. That means the plant X is a climber. Now in the given options, which is a climber? Yes, you're right. It is option B, money plant. Just to revise, a rose is a shrub, money plant is a climber, coriander plant is a herb, and sunflower plant is a shrub again. Well done. So climbers are those with soft and weak stem and grow with support. Question seven. Given below pictures are examples of what? So we have pictures of lemongrass and mint. You need to choose whether it's a tree, b herb, c climber, or d creeper. Well, yes, these are medicinal plants, and hence they are herbs, which are short in height, used for cooking, used for flavor or scents. Question eight: Which of the following is obtained from the same type of plant from which a pumpkin is obtained? always read the question carefully what are they saying so we need to find the type of a plant a pumpkin is and then we need to see which of these options a a corn b peas c grape or d watermelon is a type of plant similar to that of pumpkin were you able to guess the answer well let's see Corn, as you can see, is a shrub. It needs support. It's a climber. Grape needs support. It's a climber. And watermelon is on the floor growing, so it's a creeper. Pumpkin is also a creeper, which matches the plant type of a watermelon. So our answer is option D, watermelon. Question number nine. Choose the option showing the paths correctly. You have four picture options here. 
choose the correct answer. I'll give you some time. Let's see if your answer matches our explanation. So let's look at the part. First is the roots which is the underground part. Then is the stem which supports the plant. Then come the leaf which make food for the plant and then the flower which help to produce the seeds. Now let's see if your answer is correct. Well from the options the answer is option C which is correctly marked as the root first, the stem, the leaf thereafter and flower. Next question our 10th question. Ruchi put a healthy herb in a well watered pot with good quality soil. Then she cut part X of this plant. She noticed that the plant withered in a day. Identify part X and select the correct option. Is it option A fruits, B roots, C leaves or D flowers? Let's revisit the functions of each of the parts. Roots are something that absorb water and nutrients from the soil and give it to the plant. Stem supports the plant and passes water and nutrients to leaves and other parts of the plant. Leaf helps to make food for the plant and flower makes pollen and seeds that help to produce new plant. Now clearly roots is the one that gives energy, water and nutrients for the plant to grow and survive. So our answer is option B. Question 11. Which one of the following parts of a guava tree turn into a new plant? A stem, B leaves, C seeds, D all of these, E none of these. Take your correct answer now. I hope you get it right because we've revised it enough. Let's take a look again at the parts of the plant and its functions. Clearly, flower makes pollen and seeds that help to produce new plant. So our answer is option C. Seeds turn into a new plant. Let's look at another similar question testing your knowledge on parts of plants. In which direction does the root grow? A downwards, B upwards, C sideways, D all of these or E none of these? Tick your correct answer now. Let's see. This is the plant that we are talking about and roots grow downwards. That is option A. Question number 12. Select the incorrect match. A shows a mango leaf, B shows a banana leaf, C shows a neem leaf and D shows a pine leaf. Are these leaves correctly shown against the names? Well, for these, you also need to look at all the leaves and the examples so that you can approach these questions. Well, the correct option or the incorrect match is pine leaf because pine leaf is pokey like this. So our answer is option D. Now we are going to our next section which is on safety rules. Question 13. Look at the picture and complete the following sentence. Always cross the road at dash crossing. A horse, B zebra, C footpath or D traffic. So here we see people cross roads on a black white striped patch across the road. Well. Yes, you're right and you should be right. It is the zebra crossing because black white stripe looks like a zebra. Question 14. What does red light on the traffic signal mean? Option A. Go. Option B. Stop. Option C. Wait. Or option D. None of the above. Let's revise our traffic signal concept. Traffic signal has three lights. The red one is for stop. The yellow or amber one is for wait or caution or look. And the green one is for go. So our answer is option 
B which is stop. The next question, question 15. So Madhur tells his mom, Mom, it seems you have lit an incense stick in the house. Which body part Madhur most likely used to know about the incense stick? Incense stick kids is a stick which is a fragrant stick which emits or gives out a nice fragrance. Is it A ears? Is it B nose? Is it C tongue? Is it D hands? I hope you answer it correctly. I hope you've answered it correctly. It is the nose which you use to smell this fragrance stick and it will be B. So mother uses his nose. Similar such question. Which part of our body helps us to hear a bell? This is a very straightforward question. It is ear. That is option C because ear is used for hearing. Well kids, I hope you enjoyed this solving session. Look out for our part 2 where we'll elaborate a little more. Do remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that you get notifications of our upcoming videos. Until we meet again, take care.